Hello everyone, this is Dr. Praveen Tripathi and with me is Dr. Iti Jain who got a beautiful rank of 54 in the INICT. Iti, many, many congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. So, Iti, my first question is, what rank were you expecting and what rank did you get? I was, I was expecting something around like 5K or something. I mean... All right. So, so two zeros got dropped from, from your expected rank. From 5,000, <laughs> you ended up having 50th. Wonderful. Uh, Iti, uh, so I was just discussing with you before we started the interview. So your uh, journey has been a bit atypical, right? What what we usually yeah. see is people who are in top 100, most of them tend to have a very similar kind of journey. But uh, yours was a bit dif uh, different and that is why it's so important for us to you know put it fo forward in front of everyone that uh, you can reach the same place through different paths. There can be different journeys. So uh, which attempt was this for you, uh, Iti? Sir, this was my second drop year. Second drop year, okay. Yeah. And what was the rank that you got in NEET PG 2024? Sir, 10K. 10K. So from 10K uh, to 50 in one year. That's quite quite some progress, right? If we talk from NEET PG to INICT. Yeah. Uh, what a good rank in INICT last time. It was not good. I mean, 1200. It's a good rank. So one thing that everyone should take note of is uh, some people think that, you know, only people who are interns or who are preparing for the first time can get ranks under 50 or rank like 50. But that's not true. Anybody who does hard work will be able to get such ranks. Uh, Iti, your uh, uh, preparation strategy was also a bit atypical. Uh, rather than going mostly for videos, you use a lot of notes. So, so what was the reason behind that? Uh, was that you were more comfortable reading notes or why exactly did you choose um, reading notes more than videos? Sir, actually, I mean, uh, videos are good, I would say, mm. but uh, they don't give the confidence in my mm. case, at least. Okay. I mean, when I read the notes now, it feels like, okay, mm. this I have covered by myself. And in mm. case of videos, I feel it's more of passive thing. Mm. So it's like uh, that gives that that gives kind of pseudo confidence, like you're watching and watching. And sometimes what happened, like uh, uh, while watching the video, I used mm. to cover the things, mm. but while reading the notes now, I was like, oh, this is this I'm reading for the very first time. This I'm reading for the, like, so that made the difference, which made me switch to notes more uh, when compared to the videos. So you feel that the retention is better with the notes than videos? In my case, yes. In your case, and of course. Yeah. And uh, you were telling me that there were certain subjects you were particularly weak in. And uh, oh, pharmacology. So so how did you manage pharmacology? I read uh, GRG source notes. Na. Like uh, earlier, I thought that I'll be able to cover the whole no uh, the the main notes mm -hmm. but uh, like exam was approaching and i was getting more anxious day by day day by day so i selected some topics which mm -hmm. were uh, favorite topics of INI as we say mm -hmm. and uh, those i covered from the main notes i went through the question bank but uh, like later on uh, in the last two days i remember i took that booklet uh, mm -hmm. grg circa that uh, rapid revision mm -hmm. booklet and mm -hmm. i was uh, teach uh, i was basically teaching my uh, younger sister the same thing in in the park in, at home also like uh, i was going through the notes and uh, i was like okay jo hoga dekha jayega, but uh, mm. just go through these uh, 50 60 pages mm. for the last two days and that that helped you huh? it helped direct questions like uh, two three questions to direct i was like i was telling my sister that very next day only like after exam oh i i, I told you this question and this has come in the exam <laughs> wonderful uh but Apart from the notes, uh, you also watched some videos here and there on YouTube or, you know, some... A lot, yeah. a lot. Uh, GT ranks that you were discussing, Iti, you told me that your GT journey has also been quite, quite, uh, you know, chaotic. Yeah. So, tell, tell us a bit about it. Okay, so I uh, gave, uh, like, after November I and I, I started uh, studying, like, in midway, mm -hmm. like, December, around December, and... Uh, I did sir uh, non acad GRship also at okay. Ames Rishikesh for one and a half month. Mm -hmm. So like along with that, like till the end of February, I was there and uh, I was uh, giving GTs, trying to give GT every like uh, every week mm -hmm. or at least every 15 days. And my ranks were somewhere like on an average, they were around 200, 300 uh, rank I was getting, but like 
there were times when i got like rank 6 and 2000s also in, in in fact in the very last gt before my exam that i gave i guess around uh, in march after that i didn't give any gt so in that i got something around like 2700 something as far as i remember okay and uh, so i was like very hopeless in <laughs> what will happen and and that's why i was expecting not a good rank okay yes please So yeah, my GT ranks were very fluctuating. so the the takeaway from uh, what you just said is that in gts things may fluctuate a lot if if you're getting a rank like 2000 does not mean that you cannot get into top 100 because many students get very demotivated after a difficult gt or after getting a bad score so we we should take gt you know as a preparation tool along with the assessment tool assessment and like what kind of mistakes we are repeating in every gt so we right. should uh, go back to that mistake and uh, try not to repeat that again that's it the correct. mark should then be taken by heart correct correct uh it is so you have been preparing for some time and i'm sure uh, the journey uh, would not have been smooth there would be times when you would doubt whether you can crack this exam or not uh, there would should there would have been bad days also when you felt that you know everything is falling apart so so can you tell the students how did you handle those days because there are many people in the same boat uh, full of self doubt not sure what is going to happen so so how did you handle those times um uh, i believe that uh, in personal lives we can't avoid the uh, mishaps or uh, any kind of cacophony coming our way but uh, i think uh, staying positive all throughout the journey and uh, we should be selective about people like uh, um, we should be clear all through this journey like uh, who are supporting us especially like the family members if we are feeling that someone is uh, not to, someone is uh, kind of trying to demotivate us or something we just can uh, shut that contact right and right. Uh, uh, second thing like about positivity i used to uh, i started journaling a lot in the past 2 3 months okay. mm -hmm. i used to write a lot like the positive things it you it's okay it's okay you can do it it's okay you can do it i mean on the day of exam also i was like okay it's okay use your brain use your common sense and just go ahead it's okay it's just a like exam right you just take one question at a time it right. will pass so we don't think about the result you have to see the four options forget whatever whatever you have read in the past mm -hmm. just see those four questions and attempt right that was my thing like this i should have tried earlier but uh, i mean so trying to stay away from the sources of negativity yeah and definitely that's a must i mean living, i have seen the change living in the moment not taking too much of a pressure all these things finally help a lot so iti what next what are you planning to take uh, as a branch um so confused between radiology and medicine i um, mean i always wanted to go for radiology but yeah, like medicine also comes uh, like as yeah. an option so we'll decide so all, all the students in the 100 i think i went through six of them and uh, everybody said the same thing they don't know between radio and medicine so <laughs> <laughs> you you are in the same boat like many people and and would you be preparing for neat pg now my family is to saying no not at all <laughs> but uh, i mean i think you should uh, there's hardly 18 days left and you're already in a good spot so why not study for 18 20 days more and you never know yeah that don't aake de to de dena de to dena exam ha i will i'll definitely appear for the exam but theek <laughs> hai already the thanks a lot thank you for sharing a wonderful journey and and i think uh, there are a lot of uh, important takeaways from what you told us that uh, you know things can go haywire but but you always have that option of bringing things back to the track so thank you iti again many congratulations and uh, thank you for talking to us thank you sir thank you so much may god bless you thank you